steps. So that's really one of the first steps. And then the second step, I think, is, is, is around committing vocally, boldly, to the kind of principles that food sovereignty organizations advocate, which really are systems-challenging principles and cause discomfort. They cause discomfort for those of us who are benefiting from the current way that the system works. And if we want to change that system so that it is actually equitable, we have to be able to profess those principles and then figure out how we act on them in both individual and corporate ways. We have to begin the practice of critically examining how systems of power and oppression work in our society on both interpersonal and cultural institutions.